Hello everyone again. I just finished this book, Someone to Love by Jude Devereaux. Yeah. I very much do not like this dude lady, especially because of this book. I like at first I thought I would like her. I thought I would really like this book. The basic plot of this story is very interesting. I actually love it. I love the whole like mystery of like a death in this house and like um like a supposed haunted house and the fact that his um like his wife's uh Jace's mysterious wife's mysterious suicide and he has he wants to find out like how she died and all this all that stuff but the way Jude wrote it it just like at first like the first like six chapters like maybe a third or the fir the first third or the first quarter of the book it was good. I was generally interested in it, and I was like thinking, generally thinking, I would be keeping this book. But then, as I passed that port, that sort of third quarter mark, I was like, the writing, like the way she writes, it just was like, I am now getting pissed off now. The way you write stuff, it just, it makes no sense. It's like makes me jump all over the place, and it's just fuck. Like, come on, why do you have to write it like that and make me fur? And then, all of a sudden, um, the whole, like, she she doesn't go into detail about the information, the facts of, like, how, like, the haunting, like, not, not a really bad haunting, but the, um, the backstory of how this haunting came about, like, how certain ghosts, um, like, they're just kind of there watching you and, like, I need you to figure out how I died and like who killed me and such like that. Like she doesn't go into a f like full detail and I love it when they go into full detail and back history and all that sort of stuff. And in this one, she kind of left it and left me wanting more and just 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 totally skipped over parts. And then and then the whole like present day, so like the mur the murder suit, the mysterious suicide about about his fiance, it left me wanting like more factual information that she didn't put, which is so fucking annoying. If she had put more into those two things and didn't like, I'm sorry, but fuck up her writing, I would have loved this book so much more. But literally, I had the last four chapters of this book, and one of those chapters, I loved that single chapter. That single chapter was, like, the most exciting, like, progressive and factual chapter I have read in this entire book. And just, like, why couldn't you be like that through the entire book? Hmm? Hmm? I did, jet like, at a very, very low baseline, generally did like this book but because of those big factors that I've I didn't like about this book I am not keeping this I am sorry but I can't keep this in like what two weeks and he's already asked to you know there's already an engagement asking to marry him like I can see that after like maybe a month maybe two months because sometimes you know you can say like two weeks later sort of thing but like this is like a two two weeks that they've sort of known each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like there was no sex. There was no good sex in this book. Uh, yeah. So I have to say I did not fully enjoy this book, but those of you uh, like, cause this is a re this is a reprint of this story. Cause uh, like I would say this is like this would be a new a reprint. This cover design is a reprint. So, so if you like Jude, you know, go ahead, go love Jude. I am very upset with her with these two books that I've read. The first one, well, that was just, I don't like you. This, this is like, I started to actually hate her with her style of writing. Like, yeah, I'm sorry, but I very much dislike her style of writing. So this, my recommendation is, well, I did not like it. My recommendation is read it yourself. I'm not going to recommend you fully read it, but if you want to read it, go ahead. I'm not going to tell you to read this because I can't tell you. Even though I just said my whatever, but don't read this if you don't want to. Or just don't read it in general because 
I do not like it myself. So, that's the end of this book. I get to take another book out of my bookcase of stuff. And I'm on to this one, Wild Orchids by Jude Devereaux. This one, I listened to on tape or CD, and I actually really liked it, which was why I got this and the other ones, because I figured I really liked this story, listening to it, and I figured I might like Someone to Love and Knight in Shining Armor. A Knight in Shining Armor, there it is, okay. Yeah. You ever like? And as you can see, I'm nearly halfway through it, and I'm still liking it. I'm still liking some of the stuff in there, and I can't wait to have my little book review on this. And I hopefully, because it took me, I had a long break for the last four chapters of that book. So hopefully, I can't, I should not be doing that again. Anyway, I'm going to read the back of this one. Since his wife's death, fam world famous author Ford Newcomb, uh, there's a Ford and Nora Roberts books. Ford is a nice name. But they don't look the same. Newcomb has lived a solitary life, void of creativity or love. Then Jackie Maxwell tears down the walls of his isolated world with her sassy wit and fierce intelligence. Ford's heart is touched by his vivacious assistant, and his imagination sparked by her knowledge of a strange story that drives them a small North Carolina town brimming with secrets. There, they will trace the mystery of a woman said to have loved the devil himself. And discover not only the truth about a crime from the past, but a passion that holds the promise of a new life together. I can say for a fact that, yes, that, that, like, yeah, it's quite good. It's not fully describing everything, but, like, every, like, so far of all of I read and what they've described, but it's, you know, very close. There's only one thing that I don't like about it, but I will let you know in my actual review. And I don't have anything else to read for you. Yes. But I will say that I'm still enjoying this book, like actually reading it. That I'm, yeah, I am enjoying reading it from listening to it before. This was my book review, my little weird book review, because I left the four chapters alone for a very long time, and I did not like it. You know, as I always say, if you liked my video, hit that like button down there. If you have any comments about this book, or the way I have rated and reviewed this book, you know, you can leave your comments down below. Just don't leave any nasty comments or negative comments, because we do not need negativity in the world. And if you have any other if you have any other Jude Devereaux books for recommendations, you can leave those down below if they're any similar to Red Wild Orchids, you know, leave them down below. I'm gonna mention this again in this book's review. And if this is the first time you're watching my video, hit that big red subscribe button down there by my picture if it's still there to get more book reviews. Unboxing, unbagging, can some things come in a bubble wrap vanilla envelope? A plastic wrapped baggie that you saw in my previous video with my dress and this random blogs and random random videos so that I have no idea where to categorize them right now yes the video I hope you liked it and I will see you all in my next one goodbye everyone <laughs>